What up, dope fam? It's your homie Grand, and um, I'm back. I wanted to share this with you, uh, a tutorial showing you guys how I uh, make my splash screens for my YouTube channels. And I just feel it's beneficial, and and I guess that's it. Uh, what I want to use here is uh, After Effects, and what we're going to do is um, I already created the file. If you want to know how I put something like this together, you can watch the previous tutorials. But this here is going to be a splash screen for um, for all my uh, uh, party flyer tutorials. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I already created it, and I'm going to import that into After Effects. So let's go find that file. Where did I say that? Huh. Oh, moving too fast, right? Okay, let's see. Save, save for web. And um, where did it go? Where is it going? Huh? Save. Oh, well, it went there. So that's Photoshop tutorials, personalized names, YouTube banners. There we go. YouTube banners. Okay, company graphics. All right. So uh, I like to pull this up here. YouTube banner, company graphics. Oh, sorry, that's my extracting hair tutorial. Oh, I know where it's at. All right, so it's in here, and um, we're going to open this up. Bam. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that so I can make it the size comp, comp size. And we're going to put that at full 100%. And all I'm going to do, fam, is you saw in the previous tutorial how I added lights. So we're going to create a solid make it black and go to effects and we're going to go to video copilot and go to optical flares and you see we have a flare here we're going to change that to uh, let's see let's see color dodge no not color dodge let's just save it to screen and we get the official light here and let's just start placing it and uh, this is going to uh, serve as a, uh, a intro and um, and just a flat image. So we're going to go here and change the options a little, make it a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to drag this over here. Uh, actually, uh, you can't see it, right? No. All right, let's drag it over here. And let's go to some custom custom presets. Go to the preset browser. And let's try to find something that's already kind of uh, explosive. Uh, let's say maybe this. Let's hit OK. All right, that's uh, that's a little cool. We're gonna add an adjustment layer, yeah, yeah, because I like these little rainbows here. And it's not gonna be nothing in particularly specific, fam. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's no rules here. We're just kind of just making it party, you know. Glints and glares, you know. There's not really any rules on where that should go. But uh, what I am gonna do is change that blue, so we can have some dynamic. Yeah, that's a little bit more dynamic there. All right. So we got a glint there. And um, let's just select the uh, layer. Hold control, click D. And we just made another optical flare. And let's just slide this uh, maybe over here. Or let's put it here. Let's put it there. And uh, let's change that color to red. It's nice. Uh, might be a little too much, um, but we'll see. Okay, I kind of like that. And um, here, let's select that layer and duplicate, make another copy. And let's put this one over here. And let's just change the play with that. Maybe we'll go with, uh, I don't know, let's say that there, see what happens. Alright, so it's starting to get washed out. Now there's two ways what we can do here is we can adjust the contrast on here. So let's try to let's try to adjust the contrast so it won't be so muddy here as you see. So let's uh, adjust the contrast and saturate it a little. 
brightness, contrast. So we can see through our, you know, through our layer. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I think it might be too much. Now uh, let me adjust the scale. We can always pick any other type. Mm, I think that's too much. Let's just go in here and change the settings all together. Mm, pick something. Uh, let's see something a little tighter. And we want to deal with that contrast as well. As well? I like those big words I'm using now. Grown, huh? All right. Uh, that's kind of cool. Look like it might need a little little glint but you know what we're gonna keep it like that and we're gonna do the same thing here let's go to options and we're gonna turn down the contrast on here too and we hit OK much better and uh, we are kinda leave this a little fuzzy gotta have some realistic uh, lighting in there now she got a little nice little things going on back there uh, let's put I guess one more little star blast here. So we're just going to start completely fresh with a solid and uh, the effect optical flares and um, put this on screen. And uh, let's, mm, let's see. Let's put this here. Let's change the color to yellow. I just want to see what's going to happen. Hmm. Okay, and you know, we had this orange light going on this end, so maybe this might be more appropriate over here, maybe. Uh, maybe even up here. So this can almost act like the light that's shining there. I don't know, I, it's almost kind of getting a little ugly. And let me try orange. Alright, that might be okay, fam. It's your homie, Grand messing around putting it down okay uh, let's see what happens over here bling I don't know I kind of like it right there I think it's better right there what you think leave a comment T that's what I don't care as long as you leave a comment more comments more business baby all right uh, let's adjust the contrast here what, what, what's going on here why they do that okay where they do that at? all right boom bam now, that is nice. Now what we're going to do, fam, we're going to go back to these. And just for the 22 seconds length I have this, I'm going to just animate it by just adjusting the flicker. So we're going to drop down flicker, and we're going to turn up the speed to about 50. We're going to make this one smooth. The amount is going to be like 60. Um, and if I hit play, you'll see what it's doing. It's kind of vibrating a little. Right here, if you look here, you see it's kind of animating itself. All right, and that's cool. We play it back real time. Okay. Maybe if I drop this to half, we can get a little bit more play. There we go. All right, so far, so good. Looking nice. Looking nice. And we're going to do the same things with these. So we're going to go to the next light. We'll cut that off so we can see which one. That's that one. So let's turn on the flicker. We'll turn up the speed to about 60. We'll make that sharp. And we'll turn the mount up to, uh, let's say, 43. All right, that's cool. As long as they are different and random. Now we're going to go to the black. And this is the red here. And let's... Um, you know, we're going to do something a little different. On this one, we're going to rotate. So let's go to the beginning of the track. We're going to hit our off, set, rotate right there. And we're going to go all the way to the end of the track. And we're going to just drag that to about four so that that can spin. So now we got that spinning. We got that blinking. We got that blinking. And uh, maybe this orange here. Let me see. This can spin and flicker. So let's add a flicker to the that. And this one, we're going to make it fast. We're going to make it fast. Fast flicker, and the amount is going to be, what, let's say 70. So we got this spinning and flickering. Yes. Yeah. Oct 
activity. Cool, cool, super duper cool. And finally, here, let's play it back in real time. All right, cool. And finally, what we're going to do is do something with this orange. And maybe we can we put on flicker. We'll keep it smooth. We'll just uh, we'll turn it up just a little, like at 20. And we'll turn the amount up uh, just a little. And it's doing something. It's doing something. It's not staying static. Now, one cool, another cool thing I can do is actually uh, separate all these files, make it 3D, and have the camera pan and left and right so that you can see, like, these are being dimensioned. But we'll do that in another session. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is a quick, little, real quick way, fam. And it's important to have your, um, your, you know, your banners, your YouTube banners, especially if you're a partner, it's cool to have your YouTube banners look dynamic. Because when they come, to, they, they land on your page, it adds to the color and the flavor and the flair of your pages. All right? So it's your homie Grand Tizzle. I hope you benefited from this and you will be seeing this posted up on the site. So uh, definitely uh, leave a comment. Share this, if you will, please. Share this. And um, if you're interested, um, I have a link uh, taking you to a DVD that teach you how to really get down to the nitty gritty of these type of tutorials. It's your homie Grand Tizzle. I hope you benefited. Enjoy this session. I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you when I spin it.